Good morning, good morning. Another beautiful start at the Palmeray Palace out here in Marrakesh. So today's vlog will be sponsored by Igo Morocco. Today we're heading on the Okura, I think that's how you pronounce it, day tour. So we're gonna be checking out Cascades. We're gonna be experiencing the Berber culture, checking out some of the Berber villages, which I'm really excited to. And uh, it's about an hour and 15, hour and a half drive from Marrakesh. So we're about to head on the shuttle. I think the guy's in the lobby. And uh, yeah, we'll, I don't know which way to go. Oh, oh, I'm going this way. <laughs> And uh, in about an hour and a half, we'll be there, and our shuttle guy hopefully should be here right now. It is so pretty in here. All right, so we found our guy, and this is our tour van. So we're with our tour group right now. There's a couple stops that we didn't really care too much about. They were trying to sell you on like camel rides and some other things. But this is like one of the main stops before our final stop or our final destination. We are at Orica Valley. This is absolutely beautiful. This is like a little village right in the mountains. It's like clay type buildings, I don't know. But it's like a unique type village in the mountains of Orica Valley. Check this out. You can see the village over there. All the cascades are behind me, so you can actually go uh, skiing right back there. And this is all Orica Valley and the Berber village. So the main thing that Cody and I want to see today is the Berber village. We want to show you guys the culture, the history, um, and the actual work that they put into making all the clay pots, into the rugs. Uh, the Berber village is the main area or the official traditional areas where they make like the rugs, the clay pots, uh, and a lot of those products that you'll see at the shops. This is Orica Valley again. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. And there's more camel rides like back there, but and the Orca River runs through this. Let's continue the trek. All right. So we made it to the Berber village. We're gonna visit one group, he said, maybe a family, and uh, experience the culture out here at the Berber village. Wow. Hello, good morning. morning. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good, Chris. Welcome. Nice Hello. to meet you. These are the Argan fruits. Okay? Argan tree have only make ancho Morocco. We make the olipas for different shape, okay? The nut inside like this. We remove the shell to get the nut. Do you understand English? Yes. yes. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? For this small almond, we make the oil cosmetic and for eating. This is different between eating oil and cosmetic oil. Liquid? After that, we okay. take this liquid and mix it by hand warm water for two hours maximum. Then the oil to separate automatically from the liquid. After separation, this is a leftover. With this leftover, making the blacks of food crop. So this is the entire like assembly line or the process. What you just told us. <laughs> like it's a nuts and it's just like a nut factory. <laughs> yeah, Cody's allergic to peanuts, so <laughs> this is like his nightmare right here. That's my thumbnail. <laughs> Sit down, please. Oh, okay. Gosh, I don't want that one. Poor bee. You want to explain the product? Uh, sure. Yes. So, this are the again oil for eating. This oil is very good for diabetic and cholesterol. It's like the same typical Moroccan standard once we're like, we're not going to buy anything. She's like, ugh. And she walks away. <laughs> Jeez. We've got a little viewpoint, though. I love like the design of all the buildings, the architecture. It's completely different than Southeast Asia from what I'm used to. But this is really cool. All right, so we just had a quick traditional lunch. I had some minced meat, had some oranges with cinnamon on it, and now we're gonna hike up to those mountains one hour, and we're gonna be making it to uh, one of the waterfalls out here. The hike is gonna be like somewhere up there. I wish we could fly a drone here. That would be incredible. And the lunch was not included with the tour, unfortunately. Like one of the only tours that had lunch not included. It was 120 dirhams, so that's like $12. And uh, we're about to start our hour trek. And we made it. Just kidding. And uh, I think this mountain chain, uh, or this mountain range is called the Atlas Mountains or Cascades. There's snow up there and you can actually go skiing, he was saying up there. But we're not skiing at all today. We're gonna go on this hike uh, and head to a waterfall. That's like one of the things I love doing, traveling to different countries, is trying to find these waterfalls and these little beautiful scenic routes. So we just crossed this bridge and this looks like the start of the trail. It's nice because this is like the perfect time of the year to come out to Morocco. It's like the temperature during the day is almost perfect. Uh, the weather at night gets a little cold depending on where you're at, but since we got to Marrakesh, the weather has been superb out in Marrakesh. But they say January and February is the time to come out because there aren't there many tourists either. Whoop. And uh, this is another time that I'm picking the best time to vlog. 
crazy anything to make money. They throw some like tables, some like chairs on the side of a river. It's like, eat here. <laughs> Just like this. Uh, tourist trap, guys. Tourist trap. <laughs> and this is when the real adventure starts. Uh, traditional crafts right here. Artwork and everything that they make out here. And more shops. This is like a rug shop. It's probably the owner. Buy a rug. Is it on the list? Can I carry it up the mountain? <laughs> okay. And we gotta cross a little river. This is getting rocky. <laughs> a very makeshifty bridge. <laughs> oh look, look at him, he's like a panther. This is actually about a 30 minute trek through a ton of different shops. It's an hour round trip, but check it out. We made it to the Cascade Waterfall, I think what he calls it, because it's in the Cascades. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is like another little area that the waterfall is falling right down there, but this is the Cascade Waterfall. And it doesn't compare to the waterfall that we're at in Bali just about three weeks ago, Sekumpal. Fortunately and unfortunately, uh, it's still kind of cool checking out a waterfall out in Morocco, so. Huh. It's probably really, really cold. Cascade Waterfall. <laughs> Alright, here's the moment of truth. Oh my god, it's freezing. <sighs> the water is like ice cold. It kind of reminds me of our swimming pool out in Fez. Oh my god, the water is so cold. Probably like 5 degrees, negative 10 degrees. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but Cascade Waterfall. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I guess. So apparently we're checking out five more waterfalls and supposedly the way down is a lot easier. Uh, we'll see about that. So this is the five waterfalls. We literally just climbed a little higher. And uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yay. I counted them all. <laughs> Yay! I guess it's worth it, maybe. <laughs> worth it? No way. No way? <laughs> worth it? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yes, I guess so. <laughs> we got a lot of mixed feelings. I don't know what he's doing to me. <laughs> I don't like Just open up, man. I don't like this position. Just trust him and open your mouth. <laughs> Here's the verdict. <laughs> Shows me wow. drinking it. Uh, <laughs> I guess it was worth it in the end. <laughs> Some guy in Morocco made me tilt my head up and open my mouth. <laughs> great, great memory. <laughs> so I got some B-roll, I got some awkward photos. <laughs> and uh, he's saying it's easier because we're going down, so we're heading back to the car right now, and we're gonna head back to Marrakesh. See ya. All right, we made it. Thank you very much. Take care. All right, a little longer than an hour drive, but we made it back to the Palmeray Resorts. Um, I think we're gonna jump in the pool, and I'll give you my feedback of the tour in the day. This pool is so incredible. So the Palmyra Palace has like an indoor pool, an outdoor pool, and their indoor pool is like 90 degrees, at least 90 degrees warm. And uh, we made it back here. So overall today was not too bad. The tour that we went on, we didn't really expect uh, the way we experienced it to experience it that way. We didn't expect shops to be lined up on the way to the waterfall. Literally there were shops everywhere and it felt like kind of like a scheme that they had, I don't know. They're all in it together. They're all in it <laughs> They're all in on it. And uh, we didn't expect that experience at all. Uh, I think the Berber village was pretty similar to that where they literally, you know, you could see the entire process but they wanted you to buy something. He tried to ask Cody to buy something and like he literally said we didn't need anything. They kind of looked at him like, they just like, kind of like an F off yeah. type deal. Uh, so they weren't happy. Overall, it was an interesting experience. If you guys are looking to get out of Marrakesh, maybe do a day tour with Igo Morocco, something like this. Uh, it could work. I think my tip is if you guys have time in Marrakesh, maybe eight, ten days, two weeks, let's say, maybe go with a big company that takes care of a full eight-day tour for you. Otherwise, if you guys are doing a day tours again, check out Igo Morocco. They have some pretty good day tours besides this tour. Uh, right now, we're going to do a little more swimming, and uh, we have something special set up for us. So at this resort, they have a bowling alley. They have a couple of beautiful restaurants. I absolutely love it here. And we're gonna do a little swimming and we're gonna end the night uh, bowling at the resort. I felt a little bitter based on how the tour went, um, but uh, I'm really excited to end this on a positive note tonight. And are we good? So we got a good swim in. It's like 8 p.m. and we have dinner set up for us. And just around the corner, part of the property, Asian Bay. It's the Midian Awesome, sounds good. Cheers. 
See you in a week. <laughs> oh, I thought we were doing a uh, oh. uh, uh, boomerang. <laughs> a boomerang. It sounds like... It was the camera. <laughs> That's not an iPhone. <laughs> My favorite that they have. Sushi. Cody got sushi. I got sushi. And the cool thing about this resort, the next place we're checking out, right here. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is like a real bowling alley. At our resort. At our resort. No pressure. Oh! <laughs> He's like, no, shake the finger. And this is insane. So the Palmeray Palace has like a full bowling alley. We got six lanes. And after dinner, we are doing a little bowling. So I'm gonna close up the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed our day. It became a lot better after we got back to the resort and we're gonna finish tonight bowling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Say goodbye. Peace. <laughs>